Brother John Mark. I'm very excited and happy to listen to you, you know. Mm -hmm. So when your superior said, okay, you will be assigned in Ankara, is that Ankara already? No, it, was, it, it came later, later. Okay, no, so no, maybe no. you can, okay. Yeah, yeah. You can start from there when he mentioned that you will be assigned the interreligious. So can you tell us a little bit about yeah. it? How you feel? So, well, it, this man was well, studying Islam. Uh, then I went back to Egypt. Ah, okay. I went back to Egypt for a year to study Arabic. Ah, okay. And uh, it was the first year of my Islamic studies. Afterwards, I went to Rome to the Pontifical Institute of Arabic and, Isla and Islamic Studies. Ah, okay. It was a whole program, so starting in, uh, in Egypt. Uh, and then I was wondering, how can I know from inside what it means to be a Muslim? And I said, what is dear to the Muslim is the Quran. Quran. So I said, well, let's focus on Arabic language and on the Quran, trying to discover why Muslims revere so much the Quran, why it is so precious to them. And uh, I just wanted to do as they were doing. And what is a Muslim doing from an early age? You know, learning verses of the Quran. Because for a Muslim, the Quran is literally the word of God. And there are beautiful passages in the, in the Quran which uh, look like a bit, sound like a bit, uh, some of our psalms, praising the creating God and so on. So I learned surat of the Quran by heart, just in order to be able to, to feel what a Muslim would feel. Because again, as I said to you, for me, what I want to do is getting into relationship with the others, you know, but the others as he is. Very often we have images of the other. Uh, when we see another, we imagine that he thinks that, uh, but uh, we don't know exactly what he thinks, no, who he is. So I, should, I just wanted to do, in, you know, in my own way, trying to, to have the same experience from inside as the Muslim. So studying the Quran when I, and, 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 and visiting mosques. And, and in that time, I was very attracted, I would say, more than to Muslims. I was attracted by Islam you know, as, as a great tradition. Uh, as I spoke already about the, 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 the Shahada, the, the Muslim, the Muslim um, profession of faith, there is no God but God, which attracted me. Um, so studying Islam, so I did it in, in Cairo, I did it in, uh, afterwards in Rome, a program for Arabic and, uh, and Islamic studies. And in that time, I didn't know I would go to, to Turkey. Okay. In fact, I thought I would go back to, uh, to Europe to work with Muslim immigrants and to work for a better mutual understanding between uh, Christians and Muslims in Europe and in Belgium. But in Belgium, uh, there are people coming from two different countries, coming from Morocco and coming from Turkey. Okay. Coming from Morocco, it's an Arab country. I knew a bit the Arab tradition, but I knew nothing about Turkish tradition. So I was saying to myself, okay, let's go to Turkey for, you know, during the summer, during holidays, just to get to know a bit the language, to know a bit the people, in order to understand better the experience of Turkish Muslims. Because as maybe we, we, we will talk about a bit later, uh, there is not, not such a thing as one Islam, as there is not such a thing as one Christianity. Yes. You know, being, for example, being an Egyptian Christian or being a, uh, an Argentinian Christian or being a Filipino Christian, Christian. You know, it's something very different. And it is the same for Muslims. Islam is not one tradition. Uh, so I wanted to know a bit more about uh, Turkish, uh, Turkish Islam, which is why I went to, to Turkey. And uh, I had the opportunity there to live for a few weeks with a group of, uh, of young Muslims and I had been really struck by what I had uh, lived with them. I, was, I had never really touched. I really had the impression that for the first time of my life, I was doing what we call inter-religious dialogue. Until then, I think I really did not do that. I had studied a great tradition, but I had not spoken um, personally with people. And during that meeting, I was, uh, I was able to talk with them and to share with, with them about my own spiritual life and they shared about their own spiritual life and we were able to talk with each other. Uh, I can give you, I can give an, you know, some, some ex an example, for example. Yeah. 
but uh, your father Jag, I think we can do that, you know, uh, in the next episode because that would be very interesting. Your journey, you know, your spirituality, you know, and by immersing yourself, you know, uh, to live the life of the real Muslim mm -hmm. brothers and sisters that you encounter. This is all human person, human being, you know. Napakaganda po ang sharing ni Father Jamal Bala ng Society of Jesus. You know, dahil po anniversary natin na this, this week, no, this September 12th is our 10th year anniversary. So mag, napakaganda mo magiging topic natin how we should understand our Muslim brothers and what a better person to explain that who experienced, who immersed himself with the Muslim Muslim world is Father John Marie Balan. So itutuwi po namin next week ang aming magandang episode hanggang sa muli dito po sa programa ng Power Tonight with Elvira.